night back out today I got sent some stuff Ooh, <laughs> slippy from a company called Fire Maple everybody's heard of Fire Maple so I'm going to try out the regulated stove see if it's any better than jet boil but no I'm gonna have a look at it see what it's like we'll see if it's any good I haven't got any water to boil, but they've all seen boiling water. So you get the pot, lid with the like ergonomic handle. I like that. Pot stand. That's uh, the gas pot stand. So that will fit on like that. Inside, it's a good sized pot. One litre pot. Uh, if it goes on the gas, pull that out, screw your gas on, oh that goes on so much easier than the jet boils, I'm not slagging jet boils off, I do like my mini more now, but that was always a bit of an issue getting it on, right, so you've got that, you've got that one there, Pizza ignition, which is here. So turn it on. Ooh. Can't really see the flame, but it's there. Trust us, we can regulate it. Nice simmer. You can get that nice and low there. That's good. And then put the oil. Obviously, just put your pot on. I haven't got any water. The other thing is, this comes with a ring for your big pan, like a frying pan. Basically, just sit it there, it's so simple. It doesn't click in, it doesn't have to turn or twist, you just lay it in. Dead easy. You put your pan on. But for this, it has these little notches here, which you line up and give it a little twist. Turn it off, it comes on, twist, lock it on, that's gone nowhere, a litre pot, you can get, you'll probably get your gas in there with the burner ring, I'll have to try that, get the pot on, turn it off, so when you're finished with it, there's a little button here, you press this, Folds that over, and this little contraption here. Right, I've got to put the lid on. So you fold that over, and that little thing there, that little brass thing, keeps the handle from flapping about. Not bad. See so what it would look like with the gas inside it. So take that off. It's quite a big unit. It feels solid, good, well made. That's the igniter. It's cooled down. Take that off. I think the gas, the gas will fit in. And that little push. Will it? Oh, not quite. No. Put the lid on the gas. Protect the cover on it. Any better? No, what a shame. So, a couple of things is this could do with the bag. 
because that's quite exposed. I could get damaged. That's about it really. So the neoprene cover on so it keeps it cool to the touch. Put it over. It's good. That all goes in there. Drops in. Put something in there, like I, I normally keep kitchen roller, a cloth or something in there, just to stop that all right in the little bit. Just fold that up, and then the lid on, click it in place. That's it. Job's good. I'll use that on my next camp, boil some water in it. Gas on, turn it up, start the stopwatch. That's it, the rolling boil now. So two thirty five. Time for the jet boil with the same amount of water. It was a pint of water and half a litre if you're American, <laughs> European. <laughs> well, I don't know. So, it's not really that much difference, is it? So what you got is that's where the stove goes on there, and this bit, I'll just have a handy frying pan. So I, I think you'd be needing a smaller pan, but you know, you get the idea. Alright, wouldn't it? So there you go. Fire maple. Because the gas is regulated, it means even if it's running low, it still brings all the gas out. You get the full use of the, um, the canister. Because it regulates the it regulates the flow properly. So all in all, not bad. Not a bad bit of kit. It's a little bit bigger than it is bigger than the jet boil. But I suppose you could put a few things in there, like a couple of utensils, whatever. I think the bag, this is the jet boil bag, you could do with that for the burner. Just to protect this, this is a bit exposed, the pizza ignition. But yeah, it's just a minute, that's a minor thing, that. The condenser on the bottom is what does it. This is what takes all the heat. Cool to the touch. I like that, I like the bit that you can secure the handle. So, my final thoughts are... There is, there is a negative point, but I'll get to that. For anybody who says it's too tall, and it's unstable. You should put your, you know, the uh, the feet that go in the bottom. See, always put that on. Any stove, you should never put on uneven ground anyway. But these do look. That's uh, that's me quite knocking it about a bit there. It's not falling over. I mean, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't want to do it in a tent when it's full of water, boiling water, but. You know, so use the use the feet on the bottom. I had that loose. Um, there's another thing, right? When you take this off, this going into the pot. Just a little quick edit there. Just took it off. Um, this bit going into the pot. It's a bit tight. Right, so it goes in, uh, you've got that in there. You put everything else in. These sort of little uh, rivets here. I think they cause a little bit of a problem. It takes fettling. Yep, it's very, very tight to get it out. 
I mean, that's that's minimal, you know what I mean? If you can be bothered to do it. But these these rivets here are quite uh, stick out a little bit. That makes it quite difficult to get that out. But if you hold it like that, keep your finger away from this. Just hold it by this, the round bit there, and you can pull it in and out. It's quite sturdy that, you're not going to damage that. That is quite solid that. And that'll take quite a bit of breaking. But yeah, them, them rivets could be a bit more flush. So that's really the only negative I can find about it. Good budget stuffs. I mean, you don't have to get this one. This is the, remember there was the regulated one. There is loads of different ones. There's X Star, X2, or what? Have a look on the website. Have a look at the link. I think you get discount with the link. Um, so yeah, good alternative to jet bile. It is bigger. It's cheaper. And if you take that out, you know, you can put, you can put gas in that. Oh, it's the best. Take the stand off. You can't get gas to a bottle in there. Unfortunately, you can't get that in as well. It's just too small. I think we had one of them mini gas. I mean, look how easy it is to connect the gas. That just went on there inside. If you get one of them mini gas canisters, you'll get them both in there. And you get the red on. And it's fast enough. So, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. Fire maple. Not bad. I'll use it on my next camp. I think I did forget to mention it also comes in this little bag, which is handy. So, yeah, I'd recommend it. If you don't want to pay out all that money for a jet boil, it's a good alternative. It's cheaper. It does feel quite uh, well made. It's a good pot, it's a big pot. And uh, easy enough to use, dead easy, like the pizza ignition. Right, so you can just fold zip that up. Right, that's my review of that. So, thanks for watching. If you like it, check out the links, check out the website. And uh, don't think I get commission. I don't think I do. I haven't got a website, so I don't get commission on things like that. Affiliate links, I don't get it. It's just, uh, just give me an honest review. If I don't like something, I will say. I actually do quite like that. I'm quite surprised by it, actually. Right.